Now, where I could go out and go outside, maybe play some more ping pong or go get a snack right now, I thought I would actually stick around if you want to stick around too. You know, now that we're, we're both still here, I thought I'd stick around and help you out with a few little tricks on WordPress. All right, so first off, we're gonna install a new theme and we're gonna change our look because as awesome as this is, and as cool as the 2014 theme is, it is what countless other bloggers who just set up a blog are gonna be using, all right? And uh, we wanna stand out. So if we go back to our dashboard, we can go to appearance and then we can go to themes. That's pretty cool. We can go to themes and then within themes, we have the, the three standard themes, but we can also add thousands more. So we can just click on add new. All right, and then I'm gonna browse. And there are lots of good themes you wanna look for. You might wanna search a, a word like photography, something like that. You'll get the themes that WordPress has for photography. Most of them are free. You could search for e-commerce. And then you could browse some beautiful e-commerce themes that could make your new blog into an e-commerce website. All right. You could look for something like maybe fitness. All right, personal trainer or health. And you know, you get the picture. We could really do this all day. However, I have a theme in mind that I want to show you, and it's called Simple Catch. So I'm just going to hit enter. All right. There is Simple Catch, and I'm going to show you Simple Catch right now because I think it's one of the coolest but not well known themes on WordPress, and I'll show you why in a second. So to set it up, we can just click the install button right here. And then we can activate. And now our site will instantly start looking different. I'm just going to open it up in a new tab. And we can see we got a total makeover. All right. So here are our posts. And the site looks a lot different right away. And so that's pretty cool. The reason I like Simple Catch so much is because it displays your content on the home page with these little rich snippets right here. So each one of these little snippets displays the author and the date of publishing and the comments. All right, And uh, I think when readers show up on your blog, they should see your content right away. They should know how many articles you've written, what your topics are, what your titles are. And uh, that's going to help you grow your blog because really, Content is king, as they say. All right, but there's even more. So if we open up a post now, we can go ahead and edit post. And I'm going to show you how to turn the comments on, all right, by opening our screen options panel and selecting uh, comments and discussion. Those have to be selected. And then you can just check allow comments, OK? And then we're also going to learn how to put an image on the post. So just doing that would make it so we have comments. All right, someone can now comment just by clicking here. And they'll get taken right to the comment section. And then all your comments will display in a account right here, your comment total. All right, back to the home page. If we want to put an image in, like these images right here that are actually just linked to Blogger, so you, you might want to get rid of those or, or change those. To put an image there, you can set up a featured image just by clicking there. And then you can just choose one of these or upload an image from your computer. Like we could upload, you know, one of the images I have. Maybe we'll go for. Uh, this image of a breakfast room. Everyone likes breakfast. And then when you click set featured image, it will populate right here. And then you can update the post. All right. So now when we refresh our home page, we'll have a nice, pretty, perfectly aligned image right there next to our post snippet.
So again, pretty cool. Just another little trick within WordPress. All right. Going to show you a couple more things now to customize WordPress. And the next one would be a page. All right. So if we want to add a page, which is different than a post, the posts are going to show up here on the home page, but pages are going to show up somewhere else. So let's just add a new page. You can bring up this drop down menu. Click page. And then we can just add a new page. So maybe this is our about page. All right, and we're just going to publish this page. And let's do one more by clicking right here. And this one is a contact page. All right. Obviously, you can make whatever pages you want, and then you can put in cool stuff on the page, like images or contact forms or videos or whatever you want. We're just going to publish that page. And now let's see what happened. All right. So the pages come in right here in our navigation menu. All right. Most WordPress themes are going to have a navigation menu that sits right here. Maybe it, maybe it'll be above the the logo. Not sure. All right. But that is where that will sit. All right. If you wanted to edit the menu, I'll show you how to do that. You can go back to your dashboard and go to appearance and then menus. All right. So WordPress actually makes you create a menu. And we're just going to call this main nav and then we're going to create it. And we can see by default it has helped us out by putting in these page tabs which we can open up and rename. All right, we can just rename them something like that or you can reorder them. You can change the order of a page. That's pretty cool. If you indent them, you can create a drop-down menu or even a multi-level drop-down menu but this looks good right here and then we can uh, make sure the menu is in one of your locations otherwise it won't show up and then just save it alright so by doing that we have controlled what shows up right here which will help your readers navigate your content alright so that's pretty cool last but not least I want to show you how to put a logo in and uh, Looks like our logo is already there because I put it up a moment ago just to test it out. So we're just going to look at how to change that logo. All right, if you want to change your logo, you go to theme options. All right, and then in theme options, you can go to logo options. And then you can just change whatever is right here. So let's say we want a completely different logo. You can go over to the website called dryicons.com. Pretty neat stuff here, pretty advanced. I definitely didn't find out about this site until about two or three years into my blogging. And then once we're on Dry Icons, we can search for something really cool, like maybe coffee. I'm a big fan of a cup of coffee every morning. Get the day going. And within coffee, we can look at the different icons. All right. So we could download this, but we could also just look at a set. And when you look at the set, you get all these other beautiful logos. They could talk about your site in different ways. Really cool stuff. It's just a fun way to design the site. And uh, I'm just going to go with this um, photo right here. All right, I'm just going to go with this one. OK. And we can download this right to our computer by clicking the red download button. All right, this is a free icon, but what the site asks you to do is put a link to this page or this site when you use the icon. All right, just put a little backlink somewhere and give it a little bit of credit. So that's pretty easy. Once we do that, we're just going to unzip the logo and then we're going to upload it to the site. All right. We can upload it right here by clicking change header logo. And then I'm just going to select it. All right. There it is.
I want the PNGs and I want the biggest PNG. Big photo. All right, cool. So the final step to put your logo in is to insert into post. Just click right there. Make sure to click that button and then click save, of course. And now we're going to refresh and see that we have a beautiful custom logo right here that really speaks volumes about our new blog. All right. Really adds a nice little punch, a little pop. All right. Thanks so much again. I'll see you next time.